This is the hard drive out of my PC98 hard drive cage. I thought I'd make a little video on it just to mess around with it. Well, first of all, I just wanted to talk about the uh, the manufacturer of that hard drive cage is uh, taste in hard drives. Well, it's uh, been said that counter drives do not like being run vertically because the grease in the bearings will squish out and the bearings will go bad faster that way. However, this counter right here is especially egregious for running vertically as it has run like this or st been stored like this inside of a computer for uh, many, many years. And through the, uh, the many cycles of heat, day and night, you know, summer, winter, all that stuff, it has uh, this, this plate right here, for whatever reason, I don't know why they uh, moved to putting these adhesive plates on the top of these hard drive cases, which the old drives did not have. But it has like um, like IBM case badges that slid down over time from uh, the heat cycling. And as you can sort of see, it has slid down over time due to its orientation. And if I push right here, they kind of popped up. So I think this drive has been exposed to the atmosphere, which has led to its failure. So I'm just going to mess around with it and see if I can get something to happen with it. Maybe I just tear it apart and look at its insides. It's kind of got security torques in there, doesn't it? No. No, those aren't security torques. That's just the light playing tricks on me. But maybe I'll try and see if I can get this thing uh, doing something. If not, we can just look at the insides of it. And to power it up, I have this crappy thermal take power supply that is of the highest quality. I guess I'll just plug it in right now. See what happens. Oh. It's not very happy. Maybe with a few power cycles it will free itself. A second ago it wasn't even spinning, so... I'm not sure if this drive parks its heads on the disc or not, but... Well, I guess it's really not happy with me now. Oh, there it goes. I think it gave up quicker that time. Well, I guess it decided it didn't want to uh, seek test anymore. But maybe that's what it's supposed to do. Let's see what this one does. This is a similar aged drive, so. No, that one, that one power on self test. I like the sound of old counter drives. As uh, cheap and not the most reliable as they are, Ugh, come on now. They have a nice sound to them. Well, it's not doing any seek tests, but since it has been exposed to the atmosphere, I don't think it would uh, cause much harm if I were to just take it apart. Well, these screws were not very tight. Of course, it's not going to come out without me taking the uh, warranty sticker off. Which doesn't want to come off very easy. Got kind of a rubber seal on here. Really a pain in the butt. Of course, I could just be forgetting something. 
There might have been a screw where the, uh, the head stack is. Oh wow, no. Let me just, uh... oh that's cool, I just stabbed the disc. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, that's not working anymore. My dream of making something work has failed. There's multiple stickers on here. I wonder what this used to be. Oh, I guess it's just all the same. Well, now that I did that, this thing is definitely not going to work. Oh, what the heck? Alright, so there is no hole there. I don't know why the heck that is. Maybe it's some sort of uh, shield from electromagnetic waves, or I don't know. I guess having a breathing hole is pretty normal. Alright, so just more prying was required. Hey. That's normal, I swear. This doesn't appear to be parked and it's uh Ooh. Oh. Oh, dude, that okay. That is, uh, nice and seized up. Well, no matter. We just got a bunch of oil on the disc. It doesn't matter. Three platters. Wow. So when we, we can free that. Yeah, I, I was right when I said it was probably the head stack that was fucked up somehow. It just does not move. Let's see if we can make it happy. Let's see if it flies apart. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's just not doing shit. And now we're making contact with the disc. Trash fire. We have a head crash. Well, I can at least make some fun noise, can't you? Unless it crashed elsewhere. Well, I guess the new goal is just to make it do the click of death. Oh. Okay. So it is free. There's some shit on the magnets or something. What a weird failure. So the heads were just stuck. Maybe there's some sort of spacers that was supposed to be in the magnets that were that failed. Kind of clamped down. Can't separate these. What the hell? Well, shoot, I'll spray some oil on the magnets. This certainly won't short it out. All the let's lock the magic smoke out. We won't even get our the click of death. Yeah, that's fucked up. So I was about ready to just hug this thing in the trash, but then I had pried apart the, uh, the voice coil magnets. And you'll see that they're somewhat covered with a coating on them or something like that. I'm not sure. However, this one right here, well, I pried it open with a screwdriver. This one over here did not tear or rip in any way. In fact, it just kind of scratched as if it was just a magnet underneath. However, when I pried it apart, as you can see, this one burst open and there's this what appears to be like an iron powder or maybe that's part of the magnet or something like that on or inside there and it appears that that has leaked outside of this casing because I saw a bit of this shit in, in between the magnets I didn't really know to think of it at first however I think that leaked in between the magnets and jammed up the voice coil so it couldn't move that's why I was making the buzzing noise trying to free itself so I'm not sure what that is um, there's no indication that anything was scraping on the uh, surface of that, wearing down the magnet. So I wonder if that was some sort of costs reduction or if this has some sort of uh, purpose to it. However, 
that is uh, ultimately what led to this hard drive's failure. And we can no longer see the click of death because we can't get the, uh, the heads to actuate. As you can see, this thing is very unhappy. It's trying to vibrate itself right now, trying to free the heads because it's not getting any reading from the heads at all. So maybe it thinks that the, the disc platters are jammed. So I guess that was sort of an autopsy of a hard drive that arrived dead on arrival, or was dead on arrival.